Hi, welcome to Look Closer. Well today we're going to make the most of the beautiful spring weather and look for our first peacock spider of the 2021 season. We're at Ellisbrook Falls and we're looking for Maratus banyala. Well it's early spring and this is the time of year that our bush starts to come alive with wildflowers. And if the wildflowers are out, that means the peacock spiders are also out. So today we've come out to Ellisbrook Falls to look for Maratus banyala. This behind me is the type location for this species. And that means this is the place that it was first described from. So we're gonna have a look around here and see if we can find a couple. This is actually really nice habitat for peacock spiders, and it's also really nice habitat for looking for them. We've got a lot of open space, a lot of open ground, but there's still quite a bit of structure really close to the ground for them to hide in, without us having to trek through thick underbrush looking for them. Maratus banyal is one of our smaller peacock spiders at around about four millimeters long. So we're gonna have to get our sharp eyes on and really have a good look for this one. We are going to look for these species just like we have done for our other peacock spider species last year. We're going to move very slowly through this beautiful landscape, taking note of where we put our feet, looking for those very small movements, little jumping movements, characteristic of jumping spider species. If you need a little bit of a refresher on what they look like, head over to these videos from last year where I teach you how to find peacock spiders. Been wandering around for a little while now and I've found our target species Maratus banyala. I've found boys and I've found girls so there's quite a few around today. We've got a nice little boy down here. I'm going to get you in nice and close so you can have a look. What sets him apart from most other peacocks is he doesn't actually have any colour on his back. He's got all of his colour on his face and that's reflected in the way he displays to the females. When he displays, he doesn't use the colours on his back like a lot of other peacocks do. He relies on the colours of his face for his display. This is usually the part where I tell you about what this species Latin name means. But in this case we've got a bit of a problem because banyala isn't a Latin word. Banyala is actually an indigenous word and it's the name of the regional park this species was first described in. So the scientific name does still tell you something about this species, but in this case it's where it was found, not describing what it looks like. If we go back even further and see where the reserve got its name, we find out that Banyala was actually an indigenous elder in the region almost 200 years ago, and that this park was named to honour him. What about its common name? Well, because this species is so new, it's only been described for two or three years, it doesn't really have a common name. So we really just tend to call it Banyala. And that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for joining me looking for Maratus Banyala time to hark out and head home. See you next time. I don't know, I think he's eyeing off that stick again. Oh, stick he's got, he's got this to. stick. And do you really give up the good stick that you've got for the stick that you might have? No, he was, he was happy about that other stick.